matrix to me. Better? Is there a way to make it bright now? All bright? Are you able to control the brightness on your own? Uh, yeah, it might be. Oh, should I? Here, let me try this one more time. It looks like you might have, like, do you have, like, flux or something? Yeah, I think, yes, I yeah, do. Yeah, you okay. just flux, that would help. Yeah, there we go. Alright, wow, that's way better. Okay. Alright, time for the delay. Alright, um... I'm so going to talk oh, about formatting Julia. Oh, yeah, okay. So, all right, that, that's enough top talking for now. <laughs> uh, uh, is that it? Oh, my God. I did not think this through very well. <laughs> Man, I can't. This is the only talk where you still need more, much more, much bigger. Much bigger. You can use your font size. <laughs> is that good? All right. Baby stuff. Okay. All right. So uh, I haven't put this um, with Juno or VS Code or things like that, so this is going to be uh, really hacky in terms of like how to format it, but you could pretend that this is a uh, part of Juno or something like that, and it's doing it um, behind, the, behind the scenes, and it works like super nicely. But for now, <laughs> but for now, uh, okay, so here uh, we're going to format this file. Um, uh, to maximum width of of AD characters, uh, and the spacing is two. So, yeah. So, like, this is what it looks like. So, like here, for example, you see there's two spaces, um, and it's going to be consistent throughout the whole file. So. So, so like, keeps going. Um, yeah, so, like, that's what it looks like. Can you show us the diff? The diff? Yeah, or after. Um, yeah. Actually, yes, I can. Okay. Uh, Yeah, so it's a little hard to see, I guess, but Okay, um, <laughs> all right, uh, I'll uh, come back to this later, but uh, this is, it, it's a little like tricky to see um, the difference uh, from here, uh, but so I'll br briefly go over how it works more though, so get this out of here. Okay. 
So, how does it work? So, okay, so first uh, we parse the Julia file uh, into a concrete syntax tree using uh, the CST parser.jl uh, pa package. Um, and it's important for it to be a concrete syn syntax tree uh, because that's uh, syntactically correct. Um, and when you're working on text directly, uh, it's pretty, uh, that's pretty useful. So, yeah. Um, and so the first step is to prettify the file. Uh, and essentially what that means is uh, whatever makes sense to fit uh, on one line fits on one line uh, and that also makes it pretty pretty simple um, to figure out uh, how many uh, spaces um, something uh, will t will take up um, this didn't work as well as I wanted to the last time so but uh, so there's a file here um, they kind of like right at the top. Okay, so so uh, prettyfy. You 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 can think of it as uh, essentially formatting the file, um, but like setting the width to like one thousand or something like that. Right, so, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you wouldn't want to do that, but um, that's what pretty, uh, that's what, one of the things that uh, Prettyfy does. Um, but it does more than make lines super long. Uh, so, it removes white space uh, where it should be removed uh, and puts it where it should be. Uh, so, yeah, so you could see that there uh, in that example. Uh, it also uh, j j joins lines um, to make it look prettier. Um, and it will also um, do transformations like these, uh, which uh, makes it a lot more readable. Um, and it also changes doc, doc strings vi very slightly. Uh, so it's not going to um, change the content, uh, but it, it'll just uh, make it a little uh, prettier, I, I suppose. That's why it's called Prettyfy. Um, and uh, it also collects comments and white space um, because CST parser, uh, it doesn't actually track where uh, comments are. Uh, and comments, they're pretty useful, so it's a, we should keep them. Um, and it also puts placeholder nodes, uh, and these are, uh, these will be converted or may be converted down the line um, to, to new, new line nodes, uh, and that's sort of where, um, uh, the nesting uh, transformation will happen. Uh, right, which brings me to nesting. Uh, so nesting um, is defined as uh, the current line, so the cursor point, uh, plus the length uh, in terms of white spaces, um, of the following node, so if that's greater than the maximum print width, uh, then we'll uh, switch the placeholder node uh, to a new line node, um, and then, uh, yeah, there'll be a line b b break there. Um, and most nodes are nested front to back, uh, but things but nodes like binary calls, uh, conditionals, comparison, chain ops, uh, those are nested back to front um, because it makes more sense that way. So 
So uh, front to back nesting. Um, so this is what that kind of looks like. Uh, so suppose we have a print width of 30 and an indent size of four, then, um, and we want to nest this particular code. So basically whatever is past the funk call with the first parentheses um, will be nested. S right, um, and so where the pointy thing is, that's uh, where our cursor would be. So it would start there um, and then check if uh, whatever is inside a funk call, um, if that is uh, greater than our print width. And so, turns out that uh, that it, it it is greater than the the print print width. So uh, we'll do some line breaks, uh, and then we'll do it for the next function call, and we'll do the same thing. Um, and it is greater than thirty. So uh, we'll also put line breaks there and then we'll do it for the final one um, but it's not greater than uh, the maximum width so we'll just leave it okay um, so now back to front so it, it works pretty much the exact same way except uh, you go from the back to the front so yeah so it checks if E2 should be nested and it nests it, uh, and then it checks if E1 should be nested, and it nests that, and then um, it would check if the conditional uh, should be nested, um, and if it does, then it will nest that too. Um, but all, not all binary ops uh, are nestable, so there's a lot of things where you don't want to nest. Um, so col colon, uh, that's one. Uh, declarations um, the equal sign you don't want to nest it unless it's a function definition then it makes sense uh, lazy calls um, generally you don't want to nest them uh, unless they're part of a larger condition um, yeah, and, and more like the subtyping uh, this arrow thing here uh, and there's quite a few of them um, there's too many to list here and also I don't remember them all so right uh, um, so in certain cases we might want to uh, revert the initial na nest that we did so so here's a case where we would want to do that. So first, here we nest, so that this is a function definition. So first we would nest uh, the bo 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 body here. Um, and then we might also want to nest uh, the foo, foo part. Um, but uh, this is, a case where we might want to re rejoin um, the first line uh, back, and so we would do that, and that looks a little nicer. So, yeah. Okay. So once we have all all that, um, we've essentially done a bunch of uh, transforms um, on uh, the CST parser tree. Uh, so then we print it. Um, to a buffer, we convert it to a string. Um, we reparse it to make sure that it's valid code, uh, and we didn't uh, break things. Uh, and then, yeah, you use the formatted text. And if you don't want a file to be formatted, uh, you could just write a comment with no thump right at the top, so the first line, and then uh, JL thump will. Um, just return what was uh, in the file to begin with. So that's how you could 
not use it uh, if you don't want to use it. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we have time for just one question, but first let's thank the speaker. I have one real quick. I wanted to ask, uh, do you do, uh, since you said it's based on CST parser, mm -hmm. uh, do you do manual transformations to the comments since you said they're not handled by CST parser? Do you have to replace them with something before you run CST parser? Or it, how? Yeah, so, um, so before CST parser is run, uh, we collect the co comments, uh, and so then we can, um, yeah, we, we can print them when uh, w once yeah once that part's done but yeah so but comments are handled uh, fine there is one case where they're not handled and so like so like here so like that's pretty much the only case where they will be removed but aside from that uh, they're all there so okay. thank you yeah. Okay. Can I get a question in? Oh yeah, I guess right. so. Um, I, so, are, are there any options? First of all, um, right now there's not, but I would like to put some in because you, you know because this isn't a one size yeah. sort, sort of thing. So well, the, the Go people one feel like one off. size is like the way to go, but I, I'm not yeah. sure how I feel about that. Um, do you have any thoughts on how to like migrate? The ecosystem to using a tool like this. Um, uh, not really. So for me, uh, formatting is. So uh, um, I use Go quite a bit. So like formatting, that's a pretty core part. Uh, and I kind of wanted like something that's similar mm -hmm. uh, for Julia. Um, but I don't know like how you would get people to use this uh, besides um, telling them to with a really mean voice or something or, or giving them cookies or you know <laughs> I, I had a couple nature. thoughts but we can talk about it later yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> all right thank you all right thank you, thank you.